And can you, though, confirm what has been widely reported is that there is a higher pay offer that's been put on the table? And I, and I ask this, I know you won't want to confirm specific detail, but can you confirm that more money has been put on the table? That's been widely reported, Mark Harper. Well, look, I made sure when I met, after I met the trade union leaders that there was a, a, a better deal uh, on so, the yes. table for rail workers. Um, but remember, there's, a, there's another side to it, which I think we've talked about mm -hmm. before, which is also it's important that we get generational reform, mm -hmm. both on the maintenance side of the operation for network rail, but also for the, the rail companies. I want a proper seven-day railway mm -hmm. where you don't have to run a rail service by depending on the goodwill of people turning up on their days off. I want a re reliable railway mm -hmm. seven days a week that passengers can count on mm -hmm. um, and that's that way we'll be able to recover some of the reduction in volume of passengers that we've seen since the pandemic. But with that desire for reform and what I think you've confirmed is more money on the table, again, are you optimistic that there could be a deal this week? Well, look, I hope that there'll be a deal. Um, I'm not going to put an artificial timetable on it. I think as soon as you start putting artificial deadlines on things, mm -hmm. you tend to end up with a bad deal. But look, mm -hmm. I think both the companies and the rail unions are keen to reach an agreement, but we've got to see if they can hammer out, hammer out the detail. But that's for them to do. That I've facilitated you know, an offer. I've mm -hmm. brought the two sides together with the rail minister. He's been having regular meetings to make sure that we've got a good process. And it's for the two sides now to, to hammer out a deal and try and get somewhere where, where they can agree.